Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at slope with similar triangles today. Let's take a look. So slope is often defined as rise over run, or the amount something changes up and down over the amount that it changes side to side. It is constant for straight lines. Okay, so slope for a linear equation, an equation of a straight line, the slope will be a constant rate of change, a ratio of the rise over the run. <clears throat> so that's how we would calculate slope. And what we're going to do today is to talk about what on earth that has to do with triangles. And you may already see a bit of a hint here, but we'll look at it in relation to some triangles. So here's an example of slope. Just want to show you that with this one, the line goes up the rise of three units for every five units it moves to the right. So we would say it has a rise of three and a run of five. So if slope is our ratio of the rise over the run, we would say the slope of this line is three over five. And you can see that pretty clearly on this line. Um, several times I've gone, I made a point on the line and then I went up three over five, up three over five, up three over five. And if I continued on that pattern, up three over five, up three over five, it would consistently land on the line. And that's what slope is. It's a constant rate of change. Now, we're going to change gears just a little bit and talk about similar triangles. Similar triangles have proportional side lengths. Here's an example. The smaller triangle has the ratio, the side lengths, 5, 4, 5 and 4. The larger triangle has a side length of 10 and 8. 5 over 4 is equal to 10 over 8. So if we write them out as equivalent ratios, you notice that they are proportional. The side lengths are in proportion to each other. So you might ask, what does that have to do with slope? And I'll show you. When we take this triangle, the larger one, and we move it slightly up to there, now do you see a slope? I hope that you can see that line made along the larger side of these triangles. A consistent line doesn't kind of sway or bend, it's the same line. And that's exactly what slope is. Slope is the rise over the run. I've taken this um, this example from our previous slide. It's the same line as what I had before with a rise of 3 over the run of 5. Only I've made two similar triangles. These triangles are similar because the slope's the same. The slope is that ratio of the sides. It's the ratio of how much it goes up over how much it goes side to side. So we could say the rise and run of the, the smaller triangle is 3 over 5, and the rise and run of the larger triangle would then be 6 over 10. Notice that they are proportional. They are equivalent ratios. They are similar triangles, and they are also showing the slope of this line. So let's talk just a moment um, just to try and clarify even further using triangles about what slope is. Slope's a ratio of how much the line goes up or down, that's called the rise, over how much it moves from side to side, which is called the run. It is a consistent ratio. So this example I've shown you here, um, the amount that it changes in rise or run is consistent, a consistent ratio. They're different numbers, but their ratio is the same. Let's take a look. We'll actually calculate what is the slope of this line. So for the tiniest little triangle up there at the top, it has a rise of 2 and a run of 2. So it would have a ratio of 2 over 2. That's the slope of this line. Let's look at our middle triangle. It rises 5 for every 5 that it goes side to side. So the rise over the run is 5 over 5. That's the slope of this line. 
or of that line segment part in that triangle. Then the third one, the largest triangle, is six. It goes up six for every six points that it moves um, from left to right. So this would have a slope of six over six. Notice that all of the numbers are different. However, the ratio, or in other words, the proportion, they are all proportional, and the ratio is equal to one. 2 over 2 is 1, 5 over 5 is 1, 6 over 6 is 1. So that is what slope is. Slope is a consistent ratio of the amounts the line changes up and down, the rise, and the amount that it changes from side to side, which is called the run. So a couple things to remember, it is a consistent ratio of rise over run, and similar triangles have proportional sides and help to show us the rise over the run. Hope this lesson's been helpful for you. Here are the Common Core and the PA eligible content for your reference. Have a great day.